Hello, folks. My name is Robert Lee, and I'm a senior instructor here at SANS and the course author of Forensics 578, Cyber Threat Intelligence. About seven years ago, I started working on this course and launching it at the time with dear friend Mike Cloppert and Chris. And uh, it started off really where the community was in a much different place. Of course, cyber threat intelligence has been around for quite some time, but it's formed in and out of different communities and circles. And uh, I would say different schools of thought have formed over the years. And it was our hope with that class to really codify a lexicon, a language for us all to use and some common terminology and models and mental models and structured analytic techniques and all these appropriate things to think about how to do analysis of intrusions. And from those intrusions, cluster into groups and actors and, and uh, activity groups and be able to track these threats and extract from them knowledge to meet intelligence requirements and help our consumers. And seven years later, of course, I can uh, say that the course has done very, very well. It's built quite a bit of a community around it. Got a lot of the GCTI um, GAC holders now as well. And then, of course, we have our SANS CTI Summit that's been running for um, quite some time as well. I think about a decade now. And um, we see more and more alumni coming through there, presenting and sharing their lessons learned post-class. So it's pretty exciting to be able to share with everybody that that course, which has had updates over the years, but largely has remained the same, has received its largest update to date. Um, so not only did we take that five-day course to a six-day course, but we also did some pretty big facelifts of a lot of the material as well. So I want to walk through very briefly what to expect um, for the new course. So the heart of it, which is how do I think about thinking, kind of to quote Richard Seurer, and how do I uh, analyze intrusions and be able to extract out of intrusions and clusters of intrusions, knowledge to meet intelligence requirements, that's definitely still intact. And nothing is thematically changed along that. We follow kind of a classic intelligence life cycle of planning and direction to collection to process and exploitation to analysis and production to dissemination and walk through how to do that, talking at both tactical, operational, uh, and strategic intelligence levels, and really how to make security better across our organization. It's a very defensive focus, of course. So that's all remained spiritually intact. Um, but the first thing we've done is updated a lot of the case studies brought in a lot more relevant information from over the years of what we've seen the CTI community evolve in. Uh, day two, which is our uh, probably more, more technical day of getting into the intrusion it, itself um, and actually walking real incident response cases start to finish. Um, that has had a complete facelift with an entirely new lab scenario uh, where it goes across multiple labs where students get access um, to forensic data that comes off of a range and environment, a real environment that got stood up by the SANS research folks. Uh, and you get to track different intrusions. So you end up dealing with um, almost a dozen intrusions throughout the course and weaving together a story and um, to be able to, again, extract that knowledge and meet those intelligence requirements. A lot of the fun, of course, comes from piecing that together, not from an incident response or security operations perspective, but through the lens of an, an analyst extracting out kind of the human fingerprints of our adversaries and being able to cluster those intrusions together to track teams and groups across the community. So a lot of uh, different case studies, uh, lab updates, um, that kind of fun stuff. But we took out the capstone exercise that was really in day five and added a whole lot more sections around how to use the various components of building attribution models. Uh, if you're going to do attribution, it's not a necessity, but if you're going to, let's really explore how to do it correctly. Um, bringing in things like indictments and understandings of information well beyond intrusion data, but does originate with intrusion data and piecing together that story of how to use that effectively. Uh, and then in day six, it's an entirely capstone driven day where students get access to technical and non-technical data sets, kind of dossiers and historical information of the theme of the, uh, the day, which happens to be Star Wars themed. Um, so getting information about the different planets and factions and whatever, but intrusion data relating to everything from TLS certs and IP addresses and MD5 uh, hashes of malware with uh, dumping out the data like PDB strings and similar, all sorts of stuff we talked about in class. Uh, and in that capstone day, students get to do it alone on on-demand if they'd like, or as a group if they'd like in the live class, uh, coming together to explore out those intrusions piece together a story and satisfy five different intelligence requirements across the day, then presenting it to their peers in class, seeing who uh, does the best job. And of course, um, in the live classes, we have the opportunity for folks to earn challenge coins. So it's a lot of fun and it really just ties together the whole week of being able to pivot and look and, and uh, analyze intrusions and piece together a story and satisfy 
the consumer's intelligence requirements. And so I would say that I'm extraordinarily excited uh, to present the new class. We've run through it already with um, some students. We've done extraordinarily well. Uh, also, if you're an alumni and you haven't taken the class in a while, feel free to come back. Remember, SANS has a, a policy where alumni get 50% off of their courses if they've already done it that course before. I'm just using the same SANS portal account. Um, and of course, uh, if you have already taken the course in the last year or so, I wouldn't, I'd wait a couple of years because um, there's obviously a lot of good training opportunities out there. But if you haven't taken the course, I do view this as a fundamental course. It's a 500 level, but it's 500 level in terms of advanced concepts. It's not something that you must be a technical person to get and do. We've got people that come through the class all the time that are intelligence analysts that aren't necessarily technical. We've got instant responders and malware analysts that come in to learn about sort of the analysis side of it. It's a great mix for anybody of any background to be better at analyzing intrusions and adversaries and being able to extract knowledge about it. So I uh, look forward to seeing you in the class. We've got some fantastic instructors, uh, Rebecca Brown and, and I, she's the co-author of the course. I uh, put a lot of work into this and hopefully um, you'll appreciate it and get a fun kick out of it. And again, appreciate your time.